It's good to see you. And we're talking about the sine rule, um, where we have said that the sine of A over A, yeah, so the sine of a particular angle divided by his teammate length, is the same as the sine of another angle divided by his teammate length. And also the same as the sine of the other angle divided by his opposite teammate length. Okay, that's the sign rule. And now I just want to use this video to prove that one to you. Yeah, because we use the sign rule when we have a triangle without a 90 degree angle. Yeah, so for instance, this triangle has no 90 degree angle, although it looks like a right angle, but it isn't. All right. Uh, so I cannot just use ordinary trigonometry, I cannot use, use the sine, I can't just use the cosine or the tangent because I have no hypotenuse, I have no 90 degree angle. Okay, but still, the sine rule is based upon ordinary trigonometry. Okay, now I'm going to show you A, B, C, I have capital letters for the vertices, capital letters for the corners, and then lowercase for their teammate lengths, uh, A, C. B. Okay. Now, if I want to approach this with normal trigonometry, if I want to prove the sine rule, well, then we need a right angle, don't we? So I'm going to draw this line, it's perpendicular to AB, and we're going to call that H, which is the height of my triangle. Do we agree so far? I just drew that line. Okay. Then, the sine of A, uh, let me write it down here. The sine of A is the opposite of the hypotenuse, yeah? Because now if I look at this right angle triangle, yeah, the sine of A is H divided by B. Yeah, do you agree with that? Now I'm gonna make H the subject, yeah? So the height is B times the sine of angle A, yeah? I multiplied both sides by B, I had to make H the subject. All right, let me just put a little box around that because I'm gonna need that in a minute. Because now I look at another triangle. I wanna look at this triangle now. And then the sign there, yeah? So the sign of B, the capital, is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Yeah, I'm looking at this triangle. So that is H divided by the hypotenuse, A. Yeah, lowercase a. Now I'm going to make h the subject again by multiplying both sides by a. So a times the sine of b is also the height. Yeah. Now while I was working this out, the height didn't change. The height is still the height. These heights are the same. So from that we can then conclude, if I put some arrows there, that if the height equals B sine A and the height equals A sine B, that automatically then means that B times the sine of A is the same as A times the sine of B. Then they are also the same. Rearranging this particular equation is going to give me a part of the sine rule. Because I divide both sides by B, I'm going to do that relatively quickly. The sine of A will be left here. A times the sine of B divided by B. And then I'm going to divide both sides by A to get rid of the A there, lowercase a that is. Then I'm going to have the sine of A over A equals the sine of B over B. Yeah? And I could do the same drawing a different height, let's say this height. Yeah, then I'll find out I'm going to get something similar for the sine of C over C, okay? But the sine rule, what you remember, yeah, and I, I'm, I'm not a fan of remembering things, that's why I wanted to show you actually the sine rule, it's based upon normal, ordinary trigonometry in right angle triangles, yeah, where we say that the sine of A divided by A, that's its teammate length, is the same as the sine of B divided by his teammate length. And I just showed you why the sine rule looks the way it does. Yeah, because it's still ordinary trigonometry 
actually with right angle triangles, yeah? But this is a bit of a shortcut, if you like. Okay, let's have a look at some example questions.